how a legendary friendship ended over a seance. In 1920, Conan Doyle had been a successful author for more than three decades. The 59-year-old Scotsman had published the first Sherlock Holmes story in 1887. After the story started to appear in Strand Magazine in 1891, the fictional detective became extremely popular. On the other hand, you had Houdini, who had been captivating audience since 1899. In 1920, Houdini traveled to England to perform a series of tricks for British audience that he had spent the last two years perfecting. One of the death-defying stunts he would act out was jumping off Tower Bridge in a straitjacket. It is unclear exactly how Houdini and Conan Doyle came into contact, but by the spring of 1920, they had been exchanging many letters, discussing a multitude of things. On April 14, 1920, Houdini visited Conan Doyle at his home in England. They may seem to be two unlikely friends, but the magician and the writer had a shared interest in the afterlife. This created a bond between them. Arthur Conan Doyle was an ardent believer in the supernatural. His son Kingsley died in 1918, having survived the war to end all wars. Kingsley contracted the Spanish flu and developed pneumonia. He passed away in October of 1918 at a hospital in London, having left the army in May of that year. His father was hit hard by his death. Conan Doyle became convinced that he could see his dead son's face in photographs. He married his second wife, Jean, in 1907. She claimed to be a medium. Together, the couple would hold many seances and believed themselves to be communicating with many spirits, including Kingsley. Unfortunately, that's where their friendship would start to fall apart. In the winter of 1922, Conan Doyle convinced Houdini to attend a seance with the objective to contact Houdini's deceased mother. Jean would be conducting the seance at a hotel room in Atlantic City, and would be using automatic writing to record the message from Harry's dead mother. Conan Doyle initially thought that the look on Harry's face meant that he was deeply moved by the experience, but in reality, he was very offended. Their relationship never recovered. 